Okay, y'all, we made it to the stadium and we are standing in line waiting to get in. It's like um, two or three minutes until the doors open. Are you are you all right? <laughs> no. 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 Lodane accidentally left her cards in the hotel, her credit cards and her ID. So, yeah. There's the line up there going in, y'all. So I could make uh, no here, purchases. The line's moving, the door's just open. I'm gonna try to get some And if anyone wanted to see my ID. Before we go get a drink and sit down. Here's the view of the skyline. And it's like, I'm clearly arena. 40, but and not everyone are. can be in. that discerning, you know, like in public places, the sometimes they don't have a choice, you know. All right. These two right here, uh, lady with the curly hair and a, uh, you know, normal looking guy here, you know, your average, your, your average forum visitor. Um, these two were actually sitting next to us in line, like at, uh, on the floor. Uh, he's a doctor. <laughs> Uh, I know because he told me uh, but like there was like a uh, kid I don't know if they were like a furry or what but there was a kid in front of us like kind of between us uh, that had like a green tail and it was like it wasn't like you know it moved seemingly on its own I don't know what, I'm sure these are like well known rigs or whatever but like when the kid was happy it moved more like when you know I don't know it was very interesting but like I caught a little bit of footage of it just because I was like this is so fucking trippy like no one's gonna believe this kid just had like this green alien tail uh but I I respected the kid's privacy I didn't like try and like get pictures of like you know what he looked like or anything uh or like any identifying you know stuff about him other than the tail just like its existence but that guy, I don't know, he, he was fucking tripping out about it. He was, he was drunk as shit, and so every time he saw it, he's just like, Bleh! fucking dying of laughter. I got wanded for my uh, necklace, but Lodane didn't. <laughs> oh, we just got Pewter. here, and this is what it looks like. There are so many people here, and we're going to go try to... Yeah, so, uh, again, I made every effort possible to stay... Uh, it, throughout this trip as well as socially distanced as I possibly could from everybody uh, but I knew that this was unavoidable uh, so I was definitely going to wear a mask for this part and I'm also wearing uh, antimicrobial eye drops that last for eight hours and they uh, kill COVID on contact as well two different kinds of eye drops kill COVID on contact because they're antimicrobial and one of them is a prescription and one of them is not. But I know I wrote it all to Red Scary at one point because she had an unavoidable like conference she had to go to when COVID was still like a lot more concerning for everybody. And I gave her all of the tips that I used to survive that tool concert that I didn't realize COVID was still going to be a problem when I bought the tickets. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right. All right. Hold on. We'll find it, guys. We'll find it. I'm not going to leave everybody hanging. One second. They're they They're expensive, though. They're like 20 $20 a bottle, uh, but they're worth it, period, because if you're going to be in a crowded place, your eyes are one of the ways that things happen. And I don't know why, like I said, that didn't get more traction. Here we are, Lumify. I was totally wrong. It's totally wrong uh, about the name, but here you go. Um, uh, the over-the-counter ones are called Lumify, and the prescription ones are called uh, Bezivance. So there you go. I also uh, did the old like Neosporin on the front of your nose trick. I used a P95 mask from 3M and a surgical mask over that. My glasses actually have these like little kind of goggle fying things, these little guards on the side that I put on. I used antibacterial soap of like surgical quality uh, called Detol and um, Camphor, menthol, eucalyptus, stuff like that. Uh, I like to keep around, especially if I'm masking, like I'll suck on a cough drop or something. It helps with like not being thirsty because that's one of the biggest problems uh, for me. So uh, it's all get super thirsty under the mask and then like, what am I going to do? Right. And like I said, I got mine from Amazon for like 20 bucks. I've only really used them like 
you know, hey, I'm going to the grocery store, I'm going to the pharmacy, I'm going somewhere where sick people will still go. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely try to remember to put them in. But here, mask and eye drops. I kept the mask on until we got to our seat. I knew that due to the fact that like really no one else was masking, there was only so much I could do. Once I was to the seat, I was basically gonna be in the stew already with whoever was around us. So I just wanted to protect myself from the like hundreds of randos in the hallways. Like that's the, that's the best I could do, I thought. There are so many people here. Oh, it was bizarre. And we're gonna go try to I guess find some merch and some I didn't drinks. know. Sound good? Mm -hmm. All right. Until I looked at the footage again, the that I was like, oh, hey, those are the people who were next to us. That's wild. Um, it's quite long, but I'm going to try to stand in it because I really, really want to post it. It was we so long. Like, it went. A bar. I'm about to get a drink. I'm not standing in that it, merch line. It Yay. went in an absurd, like, an absurd. Jack and Diet like, Coke and, uh, the Lorraine opening and band and finished and people were still in line. The arena, y'all, this place is Huge. Uh -uh. I have never been to a venue this large before. We're trying to figure out like where our seats and stuff are. Um, it even has like shops and a food court and bars everywhere. It's really neat. Okay, these are our seats, y'all. We are on the floor. There is the stage up there where the purple lighting is. And this is where we are right here. Yay! Every show being advertised is so much cooler than anything that would come to Oklahoma City. It's oh, I know. Well, think about what comes to Arkansas. We get like butt rock bands and <laughs> new metal. Yeah, we get it. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So. Hinder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here are her seats. I think they're pretty fucking good. Hinder's from Oklahoma not, City, like, so I get to have a little fun are. there. They're not that. the greatest, but I mean, at least we're not way up there. I don't know, you know? when they <laughs> play here, but I'm not trying we're to find out. on the floor. Yeah. Rum and Coke with lime, oh, which is called a nice. Libre. I think that's her drink of choice because that's what she orders every time I'm with her. <laughs> You know, that, that gave me a complex when she's like, that may be her drink of choice because she drinks it every time I'm with her. I'm like, you know, actually, I don't know. Like, I, I, I guess it's kind of been my go-to, like, when I'm drinking at bars or whatever. Well, I don't... Okay, so I've barely left my house since COVID kicked off. Like, I mean, other than to go to the post office, the grocery store, the pharmacy... And unfortunately, way more fucking doctor's appointments than I like at all. Like, you know, I haven't, I haven't been completely homebound or anything, but I have not, like, socialized. I was in isolation uh, with the exception of those places, uh, and I guess there's a gas station I always went to as well, you know, to get gas to go to the doctor's appointments. <laughs> uh... I isolated myself for 23 months uh, until, like, I had already bought those tickets for that tool show and I went through all those precautions to go to it. And it was an indoor show. And I, uh, my nephew nor I got sick. So that was great. Um, my friends who are more affluent, uh, more white, and more male than I am went fucking hats off like they didn't care like because if they catch it they won't like be sentenced to die <laughs> you know uh i'm a little more cynical I i've always been really cynical about american medicine but um in may of last year i fell down a set of stairs and i was treated very badly uh they x-rayed it and knew it was a break and sent me home with paperwork on a sprain uh, and gave me no pain medication. They acted me. They acted like I was seeking pain medication. In fact, I'm pretty sure now I understand why I've heard doctors and nurses say things like, "Man, these these people are so crazy. They'll throw themselves down a set of stairs to get pain medication." Yeah, no, actually, y'all are just dicks. Y'all are just dicks. I fell down a set a set of stairs and, and d didn't ask. For pain meds, but you know, as soon as they hear that you're disabled or anything like that, they're done with you. So, hmm. So, I'm a lot more cynical. So, as a result of that and a few other incidents uh, in my medical record, I 
I mean, I have a lot of comorbidities. Like, if I end up in a hospital in Oklahoma, where Kevin Stitt always wanted to pretend like COVID didn't exist, like, we stopped counting before everyone else stopped counting. Like, they'll let me die. They will just let me die. I'm of no use. Like, they will let me die. There's no point in saving me. Like, not in this state. Like, I'm basically already marked for fucking death, you know? I mean, like, so... So I don't want to catch COVID. That's why, like, I know it may seem like I'm, like, some kind of hypochondriac or I'm, like, some kind of, like, germaphobe or something. But uh, I used to be, I, I'm, I'm still a slob, don't get me wrong, but I used to be, like, the, like, five-second rule, fucking, uh, you got to build up your immune system, bro, like, person. Uh, so I got to be ridiculously cautious. But most of my friends are upper middle class, white male college educated married with children and i think we all know that there is a multi-level triaging that goes on and if it's between someone like them getting a ventilator and someone like me getting a ventilator i mean i know the score they don't unfortunately so they we're never as careful as I wish they would have been. So, you know, you know, uh, but this is, uh, the, 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 these two concerts have been two of the, um, bigger things where I have been cautious, but it has, it would have literally been impossible to be as cautious uh, as before, mostly because nobody else is going through any of those efforts anymore. So solo masking is good for some stuff. It's not the most effective. I still do it in places like the grocery store and the pharmacy uh, and, and busy hallways. Uh, I don't go out of my way looking for like events to go to, especially indoors. Um, but yeah. Uh, luckily, I, uh, still have not gotten COVID, uh, knock on this cork here. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm being careful. And that that's the kind of nerdy shit that I found out is that like, yes, there are eye drops that kill COVID and your eyes are a great big vector. So sorry if that, uh... <laughs> Y'all see, I am like a, a bit of a, a walking pharmacy, like as, insofar as like I'm like a layman's uh, pharmacist. I know a bit, uh, you know, I try and stay on top of a certain amount of it. That's why I was really good at working the herb counter uh, when I worked at a uh, like an occult supply like woo store because um, I knew enough to discourage people from like, don't quit your meds, man. Don't don't quit your meds like. You know, tell your doctors this is the active ingredient in this herb you're interested in. Like, talk to them about, like, how that jives, you know, like. But. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, hey, I, I still I'm masking in busy areas. I'm social distancing. I'm not I'm not going anywhere unnecessarily. Uh, I ended up getting a grocery delivery service like subscription uh, partially because of the broken ankle, uh, partially because it, it did finally like seem smart to do so uh like with covid and everything and i'm not giving that up yet like it feels really i don't know i have like a weird guilt complex and it feels really like indulgent it feels really just like oh yes gather my items and bring them to me delivery people <laughs> But that's because, I mean, like, you know, I had a stepdad that if we, you know, if the bills got a little too high, he'd go get a pizza delivering job. No problem. I've dated pizza delivery guys myself, you know, um, trying to remember what the last one was. There's a lot of things that we've all had to swallow due to uh, COVID and um, me not going out and being a social butterfly is part of it, but also like accepting help that I'm that I'm paying for and people are totally okay with doing you know so I don't know still feels shitty though like I don't know is it weird to feel guilty that like ordering delivery and stuff like that especially like 
It's like normal stuff. Like I feel so bad that I have someone bring Diet Coke to me. I'm just like, those are heavy. And I never make anybody carry my soda. Like from the grocery store. Like I, I hate like trying to be like, oh, hey, why don't you carry my heavy fucking soda? You know, like, ah, uh, I don't know. I'm weird. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think that like, just a lot of it's probably just knowing a lot of service people does it right you know that's like i worked at call centers a lot so i'm always like really on my best behavior to like try and be chill with with people in call centers Orders every time i'm with her <laughs> oh my god that's what i was talking about fuck i completely lost that train of thought but yeah i don't know i i guess it is because like i used to drink a lot of whiskey and now whiskey's it, it it was gone for a long time. It didn't it didn't want anything to do with me for a long time. It made me really really sick, uh, one time, and uh, for years it was gone. And I finally found that like I can sip like rye whiskey at least a little bit, and so maybe it's coming back. But for years I've slummed it with rum, and so the Cuba Libre is like one of the easiest mixed drinks to just go up and tell a bartender who knows what they're doing what you want. Just be like, I want a Cuba Libre, but use Diet Cola. And you're like, okay, Diet Cuba Libre? And yeah. And that's the exchange. And it's a sad exchange as a gentleman drinker, because rum is for fucking and fighting, and whiskey is for businessmen like me. <laughs> but that's the exchange. And if the bartender doesn't know what they're doing... With a bartender who doesn't know what they're doing, you're just like, I want a Cuba Libre. And they're like, okay, cool, what is that? And you're like, it's a uh, rum and cola with a lime wedge, but give me diet cola. And then they're like, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, man, I'm sure. Yeah, give me a fucking diet Cuba Libre, thank you. Yes, rum, yeah, any, can, yeah, I, I don't care. It doesn't matter. I think they usually use gold. No, use spice. It's fine. It's fine. It's delicious. Yeah, no. Like, fuck it, dude. We're already here. We're already here. I'm just, we're lucky I'm not getting coconut rum, all right? All right, man? Like, yeah. That's the drink you're making me. It's a fucking nightmare. I'm a middle-aged, white-passing woman. What do you expect? We are both lucky I'm not getting a fucking mint julep. Can you imagine me trying to even fucking explain that? God damn. So that's what it's like with an inexperienced bartender. Uh, but yeah, so you know, it's easy either way. It's a rum and coke with a lime. I'm surprised we don't get pinched. Uh, I'm yelling like it's the clock. I'm surprised we don't get pinched for the music here, but it's live, I guess. All right, the opening band just ended. We probably look horrible. We just came out and got another drink. You look the same as you always do. <laughs> We're trying to get smashed tonight, but the cure is about to come. Well, I am. I don't know about you. I mean, I want to be able to like touch the buttons on the phone to order. The That's why also. Zach came by the other okay. day. Is because well, someone to someone told reasonable. him I did that. I'll be but, reasonable. But uh, the cure is going to come on in just a few minutes, so we just got our drinks and we're going back to our seats. Who believe me? Yay! I mean, you know, look, I love self-aware horror movies, right? Scream? That shit's great. Are we supposed to pretend like zombies don't exist in this universe? Are we supposed to pretend like horror movies don't exist and that they don't have tropes? It's funny, all of this, it's such a foggy, rushy, like, my... My brain doesn't process a lot of memories at uh, shows. It just processes feelings. So I don't really remember any of this. So it's nice to have video. We had been trying to get a shot for a while, but the light was not working. And then finally we're bathed in light like this. That's why I said that. Classy Cindy, I just sent her all of my footage, right? She did not include any of the tale. Just saying, like, she didn't play it for laughs, nothing. Cause I didn't discriminate, I just sent her everything, you know, so. Man, it is. Hell of a show. Hell of a show if you hear me doing the woo! 
I was I was very happy that my favorite song was played. It was, it was a thrilling moment because it was an encore song. Like there, we had like at least two encores going on. Yeah, I think we're already in encore territory. So I, I'm pretty sure Friday I'm in Love was, uh, we were already in encores. They saved a lot of the best stuff for last. So, before this started, we were all applauding, and I said, okay, great. Now play close to me. And the doctor, next to me was like that's my favorite song and I was like it's my favorite song and he was like yeah and then this played okay the concert's over and he high-fived me after that was one of the it's best fucking concerts hilarious. I've ever been to it was fantastic brain melting yeah it was so Dude. good I don't All know right. that I could be considered like sober from the high I'm I'm, no. I'm I'm fucked up at this point we had a total of I think three drinks over the span of an entire of the entire evening which was way more than three hours like beginning to end so a drink an hour come on what do I look like you know but dude, the endorphins off the actual show itself, off of the the vibration of the music going through you, like ah uh, ah, uh, it was so good, man. I'm gonna start this little bit over because it's funny. Look at look at me just like ah. I've ever been to. It was fantastic. Brain melting. Yeah, it was so good. I don't know that I could be considered like sober from the high I got off. No, of it. it felt like we took ecstasy, but we didn't. It was yeah. just the fucking music. Yeah, just. It was so uh, good. Uh, but now we're waiting on. Yeah, I literally room. said that like before. I was like, so dude. Shows up. I don't know. The arena looks like at night. This feels Everybody's like I'm um, fucking. This We're feels like I took Uber. like half a Can roll or something. Right like this is I'll wild. This. Oh yeah, these old folks are fucking smoking a dub. Look at them. Hey, what up? There's, yeah, they're smoking a great big J. <laughs> I gotta say, I was so tempted just to walk up and be like, "Hi, uh, how's it going? Yeah. I'm Lodane. Yeah, right, hey, right. how's it going? What are you? Like what are we? What are we doing over here, folks? What are we doing? Guys, our view from the room. Are we smoking CBD hemp flower? I fucking love being in the Federally city. legal I miss CBD Denver hemp lot, flower. So it's like really nice to come to a big city again. It's just so exciting, you know? There's so much to do, so much fun to be had. But we're back in the room and I ordered us the McDonald's on DoorDash because we're starving. And then once we get that, we're going to go to sleep. We tried we to order anything tomorrow. else. There were so many options and they all just like fucking closed one by one before our eyes. This is, I don't like to shoot a lot of footage at concerts, but I did capture this because it was really cool looking. I was trying to get Cindy and I in the same frame and the goth chick kept popping up, so. I was just like, that's fucking great. We, we, got, we got a little memento of all three of us partying right there. All right, we got through vlog number two. Hell yeah. Thank you. 